Hello there, my beautiful Aquarius friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, everyone. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, Aquarius, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. After that, I'm going to pull a bonus card from the Priestess of Light Oracle deck. And then I'm going to pull an angel number for you as well. So those of you that have been seeing angel numbers anywhere in your life right now, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. Now, Aquarius, as I'm shuffling my tarot deck, I wanted to remind everyone that I have a live moon ritual coming up on September the 29th. It's a free event. It's happening at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please mark it down in your calendars and know that I would love to see each and every one of you there. All right, Aquarius, let's pull some cards for you and see what spirit would like you to know. We're getting the justice card. So there's a big decision in your life. Some of you are weighing your options. And I feel that whatever this decision is, listen to your inner instincts here, my friends. I feel it's now time for you to make decisions based on what it is that you want. Okay, so very powerful energy. This is a major arcana card. So this is letting me know that there is some big change coming up. I feel for a lot of you, this change is coming in October. So being a major arcana card, this energy is prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are feeling this intensely. Others, you are feeling this subtly. Okay, so the justice card. We're also getting the hermit card, another major arcana card. So spirit guides are wanting you to pull back a little bit here. Um, Aquarius to look inward for answers I do feel that there's something big that has recently happened or is about to happen in your life where you're going to have to really look inward for your answers again two major arcana cards this is some big change coming into your life and again I feel this is all coming through in the month of October for you all right and we're getting the four of wands so there's celebration coming in something that you're definitely going to be excited for uh, Aquarius so whatever is happening this decision is going to be one that is going to fill your life with joy so know that own that be that here my friends now Aquarius I want you to use your own intuition with my reading so whenever you see my cards popping up I want you to take a look at them and interpret them using your own intuition not only will this strengthen your intuition but you will also receive your own messages all right so Wow, it's going to feel really intense for you. Okay, Aquarius, I do feel whatever is going on, whatever is unfolding in your life, it does feel intense. But know there's a lot of happiness coming through whatever decision that you make. And I feel by you looking inward, by you seeking answers, by quieting the noise outside of you, whatever people are saying, whatever the internet is saying, whatever your family is saying, whatever your spouse is saying, Yes, it's okay to listen to that, but ultimately the decision is yours here, my friend. So I really feel that something big is opening up for you. Like there's a door that you're about to walk in. And I do feel for some of you, this is a new beginning. Okay, this is an opportunity that some of you have been waiting for for a very long time. And this big decision that's coming through, have you been seeing the number four anywhere at all, Aquarius? Or is number four uh, a number that is significant to you somewhere in your life? I do feel that spirit guides are calling you to embody the energy of the life path number four. I feel those of you that already are a life path number four, spirit guides are wanting you to go back and look at what that uh, meaning of that life path number is because I feel that there's some sort of an answer that's coming through uh, that number for you. And what I'm getting here is this opportunity, this decision, I, I feel there's a split in your path that some of you might be at a crossroads, okay? This is kind of what I'm getting here. And in a sense, I, I do feel there's a manifestation that is unfolding in your life. And perhaps this decision has to do with you manifesting stability in your life. You're wanting to build a foundation of um, a strong foundation, a foundation where you can grow from. 
and weighing your, I, you know, the pros and the cons. So I feel some of you are walking down this path right now and something else has opened up and you're having to make a big decision around this. This could be around your job. This could be around your finances. This could be around your relationship, where you live. Maybe you're wanting to move. Maybe you're, maybe you're wanting to adjust something in your life. Maybe you're wanting to add something new or maybe you're wanting to take it away. Whatever this is in your life, I feel this is going to have a huge impact on your future. Okay, so the justice card. Um, I also am getting that there has been some sort of truth that's been revealed in your life as well, Aquarius, that something has come in, okay? Something has come in in your life that has split your path. And I, I feel that perhaps some of you had um, a conversation with your uh, partner and that has kind of um, revealed something in your life. I'm also getting... Um, possibly to do with responsibilities in your life here, uh, Aquarius. I feel that some of you are heavily um, weighed down by your day-to-day -day responsibilities and there's almost like this conversation happening around this. So um, I don't know if you're going to receive any kind of support here, but I do feel the support that you are asking for you're not receiving right now, Aquarius. So maybe there's some sort of truth that is be, being revealed through that. This could be at work, right? Some of you are overburdened by the workload. And it's now time to speak your truth. I really feel that um, it's time for justice to be served here. This is not in a bad way, though. This is all about you speaking your truth, standing firm in, in your truth. Um, and around your boundaries as well. It's kind of like someone is stepping over your boundaries here, okay? This is a lot of the energy that I'm getting here. And we got the Hermit card. So what I'm, I'm, I'm feeling here is it's time to pull back just a little bit. Get away from that drama. Get away from that energy, Aquarius. Pull yourself away. I feel that it's now time for you to do it. Um, you know, not only standing in your truth, but speaking up for yourself and not allowing people to treat you like a doormat here, okay? And then taking some time out to really think things through, like, is this something that you want to continue doing in your life? Uh, what spirit guides are asking you here is, you know, if you're in a situation where maybe you are being tested by a co-worker, maybe it's your partner, maybe it's a family member, how much more of that can you take, really? So it's all about looking inward for the answers that you are seeking because I do feel that your higher self, your intuition, the whispers of your soul are trying to speak to you. And I'm getting that number four coming in again that you're trying to manifest something. There's almost like this manifestation. You're wishing for something. You're praying for this person or someone to release you from this energy here. And a lot of times, I feel also I'm getting this loner energy Perhaps you're feeling like there's nobody um, nobody who understands you, Aquarius. And maybe there's someone bullying you. Maybe there's some bullying at work, some sort of harassment happening, um, something to do with a legal case, uh, lots of different things coming on. It feels like you're fighting the world here. It just feels like it's you. You're a lone wolf and you're trying to figure things out by yourself. And I do feel you're going to receive the answers you're seeking. It's almost like this noise outside of you. You need to quiet the noise, Aquarius, because you're going to gain those answers through quieting everything out. Um, spending some time alone and really going into meditation, asking your spirit guides for the assistance and the support that you need. I don't know why I'm getting some sort of legal contract coming into my mind. There's lawyers involved. I don't know what this is. Maybe there's some sort of a dispute in your life here right now that has to do with um, something specific. This could be some of you wanting to move. Maybe there's something to do with that. Maybe it's a work case. Um, but there's some sort of a legal dispute that some of you are dealing with. Perhaps um, I'm seeing a contract, some sort of paperwork around something that is um, you're fighting something against something, some sort of a case. Um, oh my gosh, this feels like charades here. I'm trying to figure out what it is that Spirit Guides is showing me in my mind. So intuitive downloads. I feel that a lot of you are seeing these as well. 
my intuitive downloads, whenever I receive images, they're images, right? So I'm trying to um, interpret them for you as I'm seeing them. This is how um, I receive um, messages through the universe, through spirit guides, right? This is how I connect and I see things and I then relay them to you. So it almost feels like that I'm playing charades sometimes. But there's like, I, I feel some of you are dealing with some something in court. This could be an inheritance. This could be to do with money, right? So I do feel that you're going to win here, okay? Aquarius, I do feel that the odds are in your favor. I feel that whatever this is, justice is going to be served, okay? So this is kind of what spirit guides are showing me. I feel that... Um, this doesn't have to be something that is in court. This could be something that is very minor that maybe uh, if you had some open communication, put your cards on the table and had communication who, with whoever the opponent is or whoever that person is on the other side where maybe you're butting heads with, um, you're going to come to a, a conclusion. You're going to come to a compromise. You're going to come to... Um, an agreement of sorts. This is kind of what I am feeling here for you, Aquarius. There's celebration coming in around this. So I do feel that the odds are in your favor that the answer is yes for you. So whatever it is that you're seeking right now, Aquarius, um, I'm getting this energy of uh, Capricorn and Pisces. This could be cusp energy coming through. This could be somewhere in your birth chart. Um, perhaps there's somebody in your, and this is a positive energy, by the way. This is not a negative energy coming in for you. So there's something that has to do with a Capricorn or Pisces in your life, Aquarius, that you need to be awareful, aware of or mindful of. Okay, these are, I feel there's people in your life that are playing a positive role in your life. Okay, and um, these could be friendships. Um, or it could be spirit guides calling you to embody the energy of the Capricorn or Pisces energy. So intuition, um, slow, steady, have patience here is what spirit guides are asking you because I feel that there's a lot of good, a lot of joy, a lot of excitement coming in. I also feel that some of you are dealing with, um, maybe this is paperwork around a celebration. Maybe you're trying to organize something and there's a lot of delays that are happening uh, around that. But I feel whatever it is that you're working towards here, Aquarius, that it's going to work out really well for you. There's a lot of celebration. I see that people are um, recognizing you for your efforts. I'm seeing that there is some celebration. There's something that is going to be worth celebrating celebrating in your life, whatever this is. Okay. I do feel maybe you're going to win a court case. Um, maybe you're going to win some sort of, um, a dispute. This could be even a parking ticket. I don't know if any of you had a parking ticket that was wrongfully given to you and you're going to win that. It could be something very, very small. And again, we all live different life experiences. These cards are going to present themselves differently. This is why I ask you to use your own intuition to interpret the cards because you will receive your messages. And I do feel that intuition is at an all time high for you, Aquarius. Um, I also am getting that there's like this incoming um, message. Uh, I don't know if any of you are getting married um, and you're having second thoughts here. Um, so that voice in your head, Aquarius, I feel that sometimes it's our worst enemy because it's this way, it's that way, it's all over the place. So when you can recognize the voice in your head and tune it out, because I'm seeing, I'm not seeing, um, I'm just... I'm hearing a lot of things in your ears that is trying to pull you this way, that way, and the other way. So this is why spirit guides really want you to look inward for the answers because you're going to receive them. I also feel you've been dreaming things like wild dreams. These are probably around, um, you're, you're either around a wedding, around a person, around this case, around this dispute. But I'm seeing like the outcome showing up in your dreams here. So pay attention to your dreams here and write them down, Aquarius. There's something coming through. There's spirit guides trying to communicate you with you through your dreams. What else am I getting through here? So um, a truth that is revealed. And uh, you know what I'm getting here is perhaps some of you have been kind of butting heads with your spouse uh, with a family member or maybe with a co-worker. I feel that if you pull back and just give that uh, relationship a little bit of a break, uh, perhaps some of you have to go on vacation. Maybe you haven't taken time off work. I feel that it's very necessary because your energy almost is being drained. 
And maybe you just need to vent and discuss this with somebody. So maybe seeking outside help, uh, perhaps a therapist or a counselor or someone that is not, uh, doesn't have a, um, this could be somebody that doesn't know you or the other person is kind of uh, what I'm feeling here. Some, somebody outside of the situation that you can share your um, situation with. Oh my gosh, it's so confusing because I feel for some of you, there's nobody that you can really talk to. So this is why they're wanting you to um, seek some professional help around this. It does not necessarily have to be professional help. It could be just somebody outside of you and the situation. This could be a parent. Um, this could be your neighbor even, right? This could be anyone that is outside of the situation that doesn't know you or this other person. Um, maybe an acquaintance in your life that you can have a discussion with. And sometimes this doesn't work for us. Um, I'm somebody that sometimes does get outside opinions um, and it always works out for me. Um, so just try to see if you can find somebody that isn't biased, okay? Um, but know that there is a lot of good that is going to happen here for you. So a lot of celebration. I also feel that there's a lot of... Um, not a lot. Why do I keep saying a lot? I don't know why they keep saying a lot in my mind here, but um, gatherings, connections, um, a soul tribe. So I don't know if any of you are opening a storefront, uh, starting a business, but there's celebration around this as well. So a lot of success. I'm seeing so much opening up for you here, Aquarius. Like, I, I do feel that this month of October is going to be very big for you, that there's going to be a lot of positive changes, things that have been delayed. If there's any kind of contracts, there's almost like it's what they're showing me is a ribbon being cut and this do the doors are opening and there's celebration around that. There's a lot of happiness, a lot of positivity. Okay, this is kind of what I'm feeling here for you. So that is your tarot reading. I'm now going to pull a bonus card for you from the Priestess of Light Oracle deck. And you know what I always feel that these bonus cards tie the reading together. So whatever I've missed or haven't said, these cards will kind of bring that into the picture here as a whole. So I'm going to pull a card and then I'm going to read the interpretation from the guidebook for you. So we're getting abundance, fortune, wealth and plenty. And look at this. This is perhaps that celebration that's coming in because this these blessings are coming towards you. And I feel that some of you have been waiting for this. It's almost like this karmic debt that is being owed to you. Okay, so look at that. That's coming through. So I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. So abundance is coming into your life here. Aquarius, get ready for this beautiful energy. That's probably what the celebration is for here for some of you. So as you can see, this book has fallen apart because I've used it so much. Uh, I love this deck. So the goddess Lakshmi holds out her hands in divine offering and the universe responds with such abundant blessings that gold coins come cascading down. This feels like a windfall. The gold in her gown and on her neck, ears and wrists shines with the life-giving light of the sun which radiates upward from the top of her head. She is the light of the world bringing boundless generosity. This portends a time of great joy and receptivity for you, Aquarius. The prosperity you've been longing for is coming your way. Wow. An investment may pay off or an unexpected windfall may appear. But even if the increase in wealth comes slow at first, the abundance is sure to expand as you allow yourself to focus on the present value already in your life. Always remember that the value comes in many forms. There is a good fortune in nature, friendship, and the simple moments of small joys. This grateful awareness will shine in your life like the sweet violet aura around Lakshmi's luminous being. being. At her feet, baby elephants herald the arrival of true prosperity, bringing with them an energy of strength and peaceful certainty. This card is telling you to rest assured for great joy and prosperity will soon be expanding throughout your life Aquarius wow oh my goodness so look at that abundance is coming towards you here now this deck has an affirmation I'm going to read that to you you can use that for yourself as well I open my mind and my life to the blessings of the universe unlimited wealth is coming to me in wonderful and unexpected ways 
So look at that. What a powerful energy. That's the abundance card for you here, Aquarius. And this is lining up really well with the four of wands. Look at this. You're going to be full of excitement, energy you've never experienced before because of whatever this abundance is that's coming into your life. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. And you can also use this as an affirmation. Number 19, I am a pioneer. Have you been seeing the number 19 anywhere in your life? If you have, this is your confirmation and spirit guides are calling you to be that uh, pioneer. So let me read you the message on this card. Independence and self-sufficiency are necessities to you. You are extremely capable in life and work and aren't afraid to take big risks to achieve the life you desire. So look at that. What a powerful energy. So one plus nine is ten. That's a one as a life path number. So spirit guides are calling some of you to embody the energy of the life path number one. And number one are beginnings. So I do feel that in a sense, this is a new beginning for some of you, especially with these beautiful blessings coming in. There's an opportunity there, right? The abundance. So this is your reading. This is your message today, Aquarius. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.